its Nexus Europe GmbH, your safe and reliable bridge to Germany. We receive a lot of questions about the freelance visa and today we're going to tell you more about it. If you want to work as a freelancer in Germany, you need to obtain a residence permit for freelancers, which is also often referred to as a freelance visa. In this video, we're going to tell you about the main requirements for such a residence permit what documents you need for the application, and how to apply for it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you are interested in this topic and subscribe to our channel for more useful information. Our company Nexus Europe GmbH assists foreign entrepreneurs with opening and developing their business in Germany and moving to Germany through business immigration. We also help you apply for the EU Blue Card in Germany. Please contact us for an individual solution. Okay, back to the freelance visa. First of all, you need to figure out if you are actually a freelancer. We told you in detail about the professions that belong to the freelance category and the difference between freelancers and self-employed in one of our previous videos. If you haven't watched it yet, please make sure to watch it, because if you are not a freelancer, you will need a different package of documents and the procedure will be quite different. More details in our video. As for the freelance visa, here are the most important requirements for it. Number one, as mentioned earlier, first of all, you need to belong to the freelance category. Only certain professions are considered freelance professions. Usually, you will need to provide proof that you have a proper education for the freelance profession. Number two, your occupation should be expected to have a positive economical or cultural effect or there should be a regional interest in or demand for your profession. Number three, Next important requirement is providing at least two letters of intent from clients in Germany. Number four, of course you need to correctly prepare the package of all required documents. We encourage you to watch our video about document preparation. The link is in the description below. If you are not a citizen or a permanent resident of one of the countries you see on the screen, you need to apply for the freelance visa at the German diplomatic mission in your country. First, you will be issued a national visa, also called D visa. This visa is temporary and valid only for a few months. With it, you need to enter Germany and then convert it into a residence permit for freelancers. With the national visa, you can start working as soon as you arrive in Germany However, it still has to be converted into a freelance visa. The list of the documents required for application at German diplomatic missions may vary a little. However, here are the main documents one needs to prepare. Number one, valid passport. Number two, one recent biometric photo. Three, filled out form application for issuance of a residence permit. 4. Visa fee payment confirmation. 5. Revenue forecast. Number 6. At least two letters of intent from clients in Germany. These are very important and shouldn't be underestimated. Important is that there are no less than two letters. Just one isn't enough. But you can provide more than two. The letters have to be from clients who are located in Germany. They may also be from other cities than the one you are applying for. They have to be from real companies or people. Providing fake letters of intent is illegal. Number seven, the letters of intent should have the following information. Whom they are from, for what services you are hired, that it is you who is hired to provide the stated services, how much the client is going to pay you, this is not an official contract, however, this information needs to be very clear from the letters. Number 8. Resume or CV containing information about your professional career and experience. Number 9. Health insurance that meets the requirements of freelance visa application. 
Number 10. If you are over 45 years old, you need to provide an adequate pension plan. 11. Proof of financial means to cover the costs for the time of your stay by one of the following documents. A bank statement showing a sufficient sum on your account or a blocked bank account. Number 12. Professional permit. It is required in some cases to perform some of the freelance activities, for example, in the field of medicine, law, etc. Number 13. Proof of your education such as diplomas or certificates confirming your professional qualifications. Please note that the authorities can also request some other documents and the list may change from time to time and from authority to authority. Always check the current list of required documents with the respective authority before application. If you also have other documents proving your financial means and professional qualifications, you should consider adding them to the list as well. For example, recommendation letters from your previous employers or clients would be a great addition, and a cover letter with a clear list of all provided documents is always a great idea. Apart from correctly preparing the full list of documents, you should also be well prepared for the interview. Once you receive your national visa and enter Germany with it, you will need to convert it into a residence permit. We described the steps one needs to take after arriving in Germany in one of our previous videos. Please check the link in the description below. Here are the main documents that will be required. Number one, rent contract or proof of home ownership in Germany. Number two, Proof of residence in Germany that includes a registration certificate and a confirmation from the landlord in case of renting a place. Number three, proof of monthly rental costs or costs of property. Number four, proper health insurance since a travel insurance is not sufficient at this point. Number five, registration of your freelance activity with the respective tax office. If all the documents are prepared correctly, you will successfully receive your residence permit and continue your freelance activity in Germany. If you are a citizen or a permanent resident of one of the listed countries, you can travel to Germany and stay there for 90 days without a visa. This way you can apply for the freelance visa at the respective immigration authority in Germany. However, please note that you won't be able to work until you get your residence permit, so it's important to have enough money to live until you can start your activity. Another option is to enter Germany with a job seeker visa and apply for a residence permit once you have found clients here. However, this option is quite risky. You'll find more information about the job seeker visa in our video at the link in the description. Our company, Nexus Europe GmbH, is happy to assist you if you want to open your own successful business in Germany and move to Germany as a self-employed. We also assist highly qualified specialists with application for the EU Blue Card. Please contact us for an individual solution. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on not to miss more useful videos. Also, please watch our other videos about business, immigration and life in Germany. You'll find a lot of useful information there. And let us know in the comments what other topics you'd like us to make videos about. Because we work and create new content just for you. Thanks for watching.